What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Mondo Pulgasari, the Iron Bull Soft Vinyl Toy. Maybe not so soft. But what we have here is the Dope Pope sculpted Hector RC painted amazing take on the 1985 North Korean Kaiju Pulgasari. Um, yeah, Pulgasari, Pulgasari. Tomato, tomato. Um, and boy, is it gorgeous. Um, what a piece. And a very, very cool colorway to kick off this like Pulgasari set of figures that they're doing. If you don't know, Mondo is doing a whole set of these in different colorways. This is the first one out of the gate. I don't know how many I'm gonna get. I'm definitely gonna get like a more traditional colored one. This is about eight inches tall. They're also doing a bigger one with even more details sculpted a little bit differently. Um, uh, we'll see how much that one costs before I commit to getting that one. Uh, but this one is a really good size and I'm definitely in for at least one more colorway here for sure But I had to grab the first one out of the gate for uh, without a doubt because I've been anticipating this for quite a while And boy am I glad to have done so so without any further ado. Let's get to the review Articulation pull this area. It's basic shoulders move and moves a little tight and legs move at the thighs. Oh, that one's really tight. So, oh, there we go. Read it. But, yep, that's it. It is a vinyl figure. Taking a look at this stunning piece in full. It's, it's stunning. <laughs> Proportions are really nice. Um, I do like it. The arms might seem a little small, but I think it works. Based on the source material, I think it works. And um, obviously these colors are, wow. Um, yeah, bringing it closer. I mean, like, look at this thing. It is phenomenal um, what they've done here. The sculpting by Dope Pope is outstanding. I've had the pleasure of seeing his stuff in person, um, like his prints and stuff, and wow, it's amazing. Um, Awesome to own something that he's sculpted. Um, really is. Beautiful work here. Up and down. Check it out. Feet are sculpted awesome. And the the coloring here by uh, Hector RC. Wow. What a combo. Put these two together all the time. Because um, this is phenomenal. What a great colorway this one is. So glad I went in on this first piece like right off the bat because look at this thing um wow that head sculpt is out of this world really really nice beautifully done the eyes are so deep so such a nice red and then the top of his head here looks phenomenal i love how all these colors kind of gradiate into each other, the golds into the blues, beautiful. And then you got some silver going on here on the brows. The horns look phenomenal in gold. Well, well done. The nose and gold looks amazing. And then how that radiates out into these pieces here in gold, beautiful. The teeth are sculpted phenomenally. I love how they look. Really, really beautiful. Excellent, excellent work. I love these things here. I forget what they are, like some other horns that go back here in gold. Look beautiful. Again, nice, nice color radiation down on the jaw. So good looking. Back of his head here is awesome. All the scaling, the start of the dorsal fins, the spikes on the side. And then going down his back, more dorsal fins. You got silver and gold and a little bit of blue as well. Looking awesome. And the gold here, how it gradiates outward into the 
into like silver into blue is phenomenal. I love all the scaling up here. That looks great. Back to the front here. Back to the front. Um, silver over blue is amazing. The gold shoulder horns here look uh, incredible. Blue and silver on the arms with the gold grading anything out of it. Fantastic. The gold plating here on the forearms are phenomenal. Really great sculpt. I love the textures all throughout. On the back, we got more great texture here. Love it. And all these little scoots here. Fantastic. The hands. And again, yeah, might be a little bit small, but it looks good. Blue and silver and nicely sculpted. The big chest piece here, belly, chest, in gold. But then you can see like it's even um, sprayed over here for some nice highlights. Really pops everything. Great texture again on the sides. Going all the way down to the tail. I love the skin texture on this thing. So good looking. And of course the dorsal fins go all the way almost to the tip. And then you know, the tip is in blue here. I'm kind of wondering because his tail is poking out if like any paint rubbed off on the t very tip. I can't tell if it's metallic or not. Um, but it's fine. I don't really... It does look like uh, like some paint rubbed off the tip of mine from sticking out and probably rubbing against the box, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I feel like it is. You see that? Mm. Mm. That's a bit unfortunate. Silver all here on the tail looks good. Nice texture. Same texture on the feet. And they're both different, which adds to it a lot. I like that a lot. The toes look really good. Silver toenails looking awesome. And then you got, oh, you got blurriness. And then you got uh, the gold plates here. Uh, this kind of armored look on the shins, they look really good. Nice knees, great musculature on the legs, looking fantastic. And again, all uh, the skin tone is fantastic. More scoots here and even down in here. I like it because a lot of this, if not all of this is uh, kind of asymmetrical and that looks good. And you can see that like in the arms, all these like bubblings here. Oh, man, that adds so much to this. So this thing is phenomenal, you know, from sculpt work to paint. It is a perfect, perfect kaiju figure here, vinyl kaiju. And I got to say, it's nice and solid. It's one of those more solid, like, X-plus type vinyls. Um, uh, it is quality. Uh, I... I feel like, you know, it's worth every cent that I paid for this. It's just gorgeous and in every way. I love it. My only complaint is, you know, the very tip of the tail. Some of that paint got rubbed off. I could definitely see that, you know. So that's a bit of a bummer. Otherwise, that's awesome. And just to show you the header card, it's really nice. I really like the logo they did for Polgusari. Um, a little bit of a spelling change there for legal reasons i'm sure the iron bull nice shot there um i'm guessing that's the regular colorway so it's vinyl toy it's actually a hard vinyl toy but that's okay um barcodes that's a blue there mondo shop no shot there which is cool and then the bag um which was busted open right there you can see the actual shot of the tail popping through there on instagram and then that's Ripped it open from there, so yeah, that part's unfortunate. What are you gonna do? But it's a nice little header card for sure. For your size comparisons, here's Pulgasari with a bunch of figures you might have in your collection, including 
The only other uh, dope pope sculpted figure that I own, Orga by X Plus. I it might have sounded like I didn't own any <laughs> other ones, but yeah, I do. It, earlier, uh, yeah, no, this guy, one of my favorites from twenty nineteen. Yeah, that guy's awesome. And my final thoughts, um, this thing is awesome. It really, really is. The paint job and sculpt here are fantastic. I can't even believe it. Um, really, like, my only problem that I've mentioned a couple times with the sculpt is I feel like the arms might be a little small, but like, I just actually went and watched uh, a lot of clips of the movie, um, before I did this final thoughts again. And it's not so far, as far off as I would think. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so um, it's it's not so bad. Visually, there's definitely something to it. I think um, I, I'm going to want to see the more regular version of this before I make a final thought on that idea. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but right now, man, this paint job takes it through the roof. My only other complaint, is that the tail came out of the packaging and definitely scraped some paint off of the very tip of the tail. That's for sure um, in the box. Uh, so uh, my, you know, plead to, to you, Mondo, is please pack these a little bit better um, now that you've uh, seen that happen. So yeah, uh, that is a thing. Wrap them up, do something because uh, you know. These things aren't cheap, and uh, you don't want a gorgeous paint job like this. You can't ruin it anyway. Otherwise, superb. Superb. I absolutely adore this thing. Um, the metallic blues, the silver, the gold, everything looks so good on this amazing sculpt. So, yep, this thing is amazing. Uh, I absolutely love it. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.